Heavy rainfall warnings are in place across parts of Asais and southeastern Luzon as we get that interaction between the ITCZ, that's the Intertropical Convergence Zone, really pushing in plenty of moisture here across Mindanao, southeastern areas of Asais, and our shear line, which is setting up out here towards the north, just across northeastern Luzon. So there's two different kind of weather phenomena taking place here, and that interaction is really going to gear up some gusty conditions, especially Especially in southeastern Luzon but you can see the broader picture here a lot of people been asking you know what's the difference well the shear line is this line that extends just like that and basically the interaction or the separation of that polar air towards the north we're getting plenty of snowfall across Korea and Japan south of that it's this pretty much tropical air. Highs in the high 20s, low 30s, humid air. Easterlies continue to dominate right in here. But at that interaction, that infliction point, we could see a little bit of an area of low pressure develop here across parts of uh, the central Philippines. So let's talk about this and the heavy rainfall threat we're going to be seeing with this. And you take a look at our future cast as we go ahead through our day here on Friday, heading into Saturday. Um, you basically have that what could be a low develop across southeastern Visayas. So on Saturday, uh, you're really seeing some heavy precip out here across parts of Samar. Late day it starts to improve in Shargao by that point. Uh, but by Saturday night, if you're going out and hitting up a you know, strip in Shargao, having a good time. Yeah, I'm not worried too much about the rainfall. It's going to be tapering off there. But if you are in Legaspi, for example, on Saturday night, you're definitely going to get an increase in precip. Uh, same with Cat and Duanas. And then even heading into Sunday, Manila could get it in the mix here too. As just kind of this whole shear line lives towards the north as our low pressure area works off towards the west too. So it, it's going to be a slow walk towards the north here with the heaviest being across southeastern Luzon and over towards Visayas. And you can see here, on this graphic you know where the some of the heaviest of the precip be this graphic made by um lex here at westpac weather but i would be remiss if i didn't show you uh what pegasa has put out for some of the heavy rainfall and they're saying you know up to 100 200 millimeters in eastern samar uh Shurgao out here in northeastern mindanao on um your friday but then as we scoot ahead over towards saturday into sunday uh, the heaviest of the precip, of course, shifts towards north. As I mentioned, this whole kind of shear line walks towards the north. So that's going to start to increase places uh, for like Quezon over towards Manila as that all kind of edges off into that direction. So definitely plenty of rainfall along the east coast in the forecast here to say the least with a threat of some flooding, especially once we get a little bit of training that could set up here. What I mean by training is basically you get one round of shower after another after another and you know southeastern Luzon really could be some of these spots where you kind of see the highest amount of that training plus that interaction with the northeast monsoon towards the north um in short it, what it means like if you want me to say what's the point here um friday saturday over towards sunday plenty of rainfall in visayas but it's going to start off towards the south slowly lift towards the north so not your classic kind of tropical type setup it's going to be more of a line of showers gradually retrograding towards the north with um this low pressure area so yeah, for now, though, on Saturday, you know, the heaviest of the precip will be down towards the south. Still some stuff along the east coast, but nothing too crazy. And if you're in Cebu, the weekend's probably going to be looking at plenty of rainfall. I'm seeing a lot of people say, you know, we need the rain out there. Well, you're going to get it this time around. In Shargao, for example, Saturday showers, but it does taper off by Saturday night. Heading into Sunday and by Monday, you should be looking a lot better. Uh, maybe still have afternoon showers by Tuesday over towards Wednesday. That's more to do with the easterlies just continuing to dominate out here. So, yeah, we're going to watch this. Heavy rainfall warnings in place. Meanwhile, back towards north, cold air spilling in across Japan over towards the Korean Peninsula. Still making for some decent sea effect snowfall. And that cool air also bring in some relatively cooler conditions, places like Okinawa. And, of course, that all fuels up our shear line further down towards the south. All right, that's a look at what's happening out here in the Western Pacific. I see a lot of you uh, still, you know, are tuning into these updates despite the fact there is no typhoon. Uh, still want to kind of get the latest and greatest information. So I brought in the scope a little bit, of course, talking about what's going on out here in Japan, but also, you know, not just the tropics, but the shear line. I try to bring the develop, bring you um, 
kind of an explanation instead of just being like shower is going to happen. I tell you, the term shear line was not really used. I see some people saying, you know, what is that? Um, it wasn't really a commonly used term until us at Western Pacific Weather really started to pick up and use it. It was something I actually learned in the Navy, which was that, you know, where a cold front kind of loses its cold front characteristics uh, and becomes more of just a line of shear um yeah and i'm happy to see it's used more because i think it's a good explainer as to instead of just saying a line of showers it's a good explainer as to what's going on especially over the philippines in this type of setup so yeah let me know what you guys think and as always thanks for watching of course number one thing as always friends please stay safe out there bye